All right, everybody, it is Thursday, and you know what that means. Our veterinarian, Dr. Joe, is here to answer all of your pet questions today, and he's also brought along little Crystal, who is just so sweet. She really is a very sweet little dog. Um, this is an Oklahoma res Westie Rescue. They get several dogs <clears throat> out of the pound and stuff. I think she actually came from Oklahoma City, and she's just very timid. But she is a very sweet little dog. She only weighs like, what, you know, half a pound or oh, something. Oh, nothing. She's, she's I mean, very, very she's light. Just... Her hair is kind of scraggly. <laughs> I told her about Friday, you either love this look or you hate this look. And, and that's okay <laughs> either way. But, but she's a nice little dog. And she's over at our clinic. So if, if you want to come see her or, or some information, just let us know. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, she's been giving me about kisses. three years old. So she's a little, little, probably a Jack Russell Westie cross. They do a lot of little crosses. Yeah. Well, she's been giving kisses this whole time. She so really she's is. That's how you know she's thing. nice because you can't bite on your tongue out of your mouth, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good one, especially since yeah. she's so close to my face. Yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> okay. no, I'm sorry. All right, let's do some <laughs> questions now. Melissa asks, what are some healthy treats for my cat that will help with digestion and reduce hairballs? Sure, there's a, there's a whole bunch of treats out there now, and there's a lot of good ones. Um, and some of them will say something like help with hairball or hairball formula to reduce vomiting. But if you have a lot of hairballs, really there's food now with the hairball stuff mixed in, which kind of lubricates the hair going down and stuff. And that's really the way to go if you're having a lot of vomiting. So, okay. <clears throat> well, Steve asks, my dog coughs a lot at night. What could be wrong? Should I take him to the vet? Yeah, so there are many, 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 many reasons for coughing. And some of them are pretty, pretty benign, you know, like a little cold or something. It's, it goes away like a kennel cough or something two to three nights. But if it really goes on much longer than that, especially if it's an older dog or whatever, I mean, there can be heart problems and things like that. So, yeah, you go get them checked mm -hmm. and, and have them listened to and, and just kind of make sure. So. Yeah, okay. Well, Greg asks, is it safe to give my dog a deworming tablet while she's on antibiotics? Yeah, generally speaking, I was kind of racking my brain here and kind of going through my uh, pharmacological stuff. But yeah, the monthly, I think he's talking about the monthly heartworm prevention. And yeah, I, I, usually there's not, you might just call and just kind of make sure. Usually most of those things I'll tell people if we give them, we try to give them a couple hours apart just so they don't interfere at all. So, but yeah, usually, usually so. So mm -hmm. heartworm well, prevention is important even in the winter. So. Yeah. Oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> she's just been so sweet this whole time she's turning around, dog, yeah. looking she's at a, you, looking nice at me. Yeah. She's so sweet. She's very timid, but she'll come out of her shell. So. Oh yeah. She's been a dog. Well, if you have any questions for Dr. Joe about your pets, post it to our Facebook page at KJRH TV. And of course, if you're interested in adopting little Crystal here, you can call Heritage Vet at the number on your screen. And if you want to learn more about Heritage Vet Hospital or see other pets who need homes, go to our website at KJRH.com. Let's send things over to Brandon.